this is the RPA Champion and in today's video we are going to be setting up Blue Prism step by step. We are going to be learning how to download, configure and install Blue Prism. This is going to be an awesome video, especially because Blue Prism has made their version finally available for a free trial. There is two versions, there is a free trial and a learning edition. I suggest that you download the learning edition if you are learning Blue Prism. So the learning edition will give you access to the platform for 180 days. Now, to uh, I will share all of the links below in the description how you can download the uh, download the tool. But just to walk you a little bit through, after clicking through a couple of links, you will be redirected to the Blue Prism Exchange portal. This is this page right here. This is where Blue Prism puts all of their plugins and all of their additional uh, additional components or add-ins. So from here, this is where we're gonna have the ability to download the scale, but we can only download the learning edition only if we log, log in and create an account on the exchange portal. So once you log in and you create an account, uh, you will be, again, once you try to download it, you will be redirected to this page right here. You will have to fill out some information regarding uh, the company that you work for and uh, just some details. And after a few hours, you will receive an email with the link to download Blue Prism and also the license for your download will be in this email. So do not do not delete this email. This is pretty important for setting up Blue Prism. It's actually a pretty uh, pretty long back and forth process. We'll see it right now, and you will know why why keeping the email handy will be useful. So let's load the tool. I have already downloaded. it. Double clicking on it, it's going to launch launch the auto installer. Uh, we will agree, and the installation in itself is relatively straightforward. A few things that you should keep in mind that is that you should have a SQL server installed or a MySQL database because Blue Prism works with the SQL database. Therefore, you require a database for Blue Prism to function correctly. It doesn't have to necessarily be installed on your machine, but Blue Prism will have to connect to it. Now, uh, just make sure also that you close all of the different uh, all of the different browsers that you might have open. So, for example, uh, close Google Chrome and make sure that you close uh, Edge, Firefox, any br browser. Uh, this is this is important uh, because Blue Prism is going to be installing a plugin inside of Google Chrome and inside of Edge and inside of all of your different uh, different browser. The the uh, plugin that is going to be installing is going to allow Blue Prism to spy the different elements that are on the page and connect with it automatically. So uh, in case you cannot find, you see uh, all of the tabs seem uh, seem closed and you can't find why. Uh, why it's still telling you to, that Chrome is open, I suggest that you open the task manager and from the task manager, you look for the different instances of, uh, of Google Chrome or of the, uh, of the other uh, Internet Explorers that are running. Now, once you close all of those, uh, the installation should continue just fine. So now, uh, now it's telling me actually that Edge is uh, edge is missing so let's go and close all of the different edge browsers that are open and again it is very important do not skip this step uh, you will regret it later because later you will have to uh, either reinstall the tool or uh, configure it uh, not in a very quick manner therefore just make sure that uh, you install everything as as it's done and suggested in the installation. All right, we have installed version 6.10. Now, the first thing that we have to do is we need to define a user. The user is going to be set by default to admin, and we're gonna to have to define a password for this user. So create a password, whatever password that is good for you, and let's continue with the activation process. Now that Blue Prism has been installed, it is building the database and it's connecting to the database with which we will be working. 
once it has built a database, this in previous installations of Blue Prism, I don't know if you have seen them, uh, Blue Prism would require you to set up a database and it was much more, uh, much more uh, time consuming and complicated. Now we log in into, our, into the portal and first thing that we have to do is we have to activate the version of Blue Prism that we have. Now we have a learning version, we have a license for 108 days. So to get the license, we need to go to our email. The email that we received should contain two important things. Well, it contains a few important things like the learning material as well and the requirements for installing Blue Prism. But for the installation, it, you have two important things. You have the license, the license file that we require right now, and it also has the link to download Blue Prism. So what we have to do is we have to download the license file because in the Blue Prism installation, we'll have to upload that license file in this step. So let's look for where we have saved the license file. And let's upload it in the, into the installation process. Now, the next thing we have to do is we have to generate a new activation code. So the license that we have downloaded allowed Blue Prism to generate this code. Now you can choose to save this code or just copy it. Uh, you will not require it again. So you can also copy it. You can copy this code. And now on the next page, we will go to, uh, we'll have the ability to open a, the Blue Prism portal and register our license key on the Blue Prism portal. So here we have to paste the license key that we have uh, that we have previously obtained from the Blue Prism installation. Initially, I was quite confused because I was not sure if you had to upload it, but you just have to paste the file and to open the license file, you can just drag and drop it inside of, uh, inside of Internet Explorer or Google Chrome. So once you paste the license key, it, this will generate a new key that you will have to take and use to activate Blue Prism. So on the next page, I want to ask you to enter the uh, activation key that was generated for you. This is the final step. This is what is required to activate Blue Prism. Uh, we'll have to copy this license key and import it, either import the key file or paste the license key. So once we paste the license key, we have activated the software. And now the tool should be fully functioning and we should have a learning edition Blue Prism version licensed and ready to go. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will be uh, get, making more videos on Blue Prism, so make sure to follow. Thank you so much.